Good morning, Chargers. This is Topeka West Today, Thursday, February 4th, 2016. Today's lunch menu includes grilled chicken on a pretzel bun, bean rice and cheese wrap, and meatballs and noodles. This week is a four-block schedule week. Today's an odd block day. There is no school on Friday. The snowball dance is almost here. Students can purchase advanced tickets in the main office from Miss Sparks or at our Topeka West Westside Bank for $5. Tickets can be purchased at the door on the night of the dance for $5, but only for Topeka West students. The journalism photographers will be taking formal photos at the snowball dance. If you'd like to have photos taken, please bring $5 with you to the dance. You will receive your photos that evening if you pay for them at the dance. If you forget to bring payment for your photos, you can still take them at the dance, but you will receive your photos the following week when you pay for them in room B200. The Topeka West K Club will meet today at 315 in the K Room of the LET Center. Bring your unit conference fees. News from ELC. The ELC will close at 5 o'clock today. There's still time to sign up for West Star Energy's Electrify Your Future this Friday. Electrify Your Future will last from 8 to 1245. Lunch and transportation will be provided. Please sign up in the Counseling Center or email Ms. Stanton at cstanton at tps501.org to register. Topeka West students are invited to participate in the very first Black History Month event that the Brown vs. Board of Education National Historic Site has ever had. It will occur on Friday, February 12th from 9 to 11 a.m. There will be an open forum panel where a team of three educators in academia, police officers, and social justice activists will identify barriers to social change, cultivate empathy for other people and cultures, and forge new paths toward global equality. Our targeted audience will be high school juniors and seniors and college-level university students, freshmen through seniors. If interested, please contact Mr. Plunkett for more details. If you're a Latina student interested in attending the Hermanitas Conference, look for an invitation to get delivered to you this week. If an invitation does not find you, please see Ms. Swati in the ALC or Ms. Escobel or Ellis in C309 for registration forms. In charge of wrestling news, congratulations to wrestler T.J. Peterson on his third place finish in the 132-pound class at the Junction City Invitational. Do you like remote control cars? Do you like building things? Are you interested in competitive robotics? Do you have a couple of free hours after school on Thursdays? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, you might want to check out the Power T Topeka Public Schools Robotics Club. We design, build, program, and compete with our robots. This club is open to all USD 501 students in good standing. There is no cost for the club. The Robotics Club meets on Thursdays from 3.30 to 5.30 at the USD 501 Robotics Lab, room 145 at Highland Park High School. Don't delay. There's only room for 30 students for this year's team. Contact Miss Eubank at eubank at tps501.org or at 274-6100 for more information. Looking ahead to the activities of the week, today the Graphic Design Club will meet in A111 after school. On Friday there is no school. Teachers are in service. Charger Forensics is at Washburn Rural. Boys and Girls Bowling will be at the Topeka High Invitational at Gage Bowl. Charger Basketball will host Manhattan and Charger Diving will be at Manhattan. On Saturday, Charger Wrestling will be at the Centennial League meet at Shawnee Heights. Charger Forensics continues at Washburn Rural. Charger Swimming will be at Manhattan and the Snowball Dance will be held in the small gym. That's it. Have a great three-day weekend, Chargers.